Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a live swatch and review plus dupes of comparisons for the brand new OPI Spring Summer 2020 Mexico City inspired collection. We have 12 new polishes here, mostly in cream formulas. A lot of really gorgeous bright saturated shades. This is not a sponsored video, but I did receive these polishes from the website polishpick.com. This is one of my favorite websites to go to get OPI polishes at a really great price and it's a reliable website with pretty quick shipping. So these are already shipping out, so if you see something that you like here, you can head over to polishpick.com and shop for the ones that you enjoy. I know we're not even quite into January yet, but OPI is getting ready for spring summer 2020. So Mexico City inspiration, we have a lot of beautiful bright things. Like I said, we have mostly creams. There's one metallic, there's one crelly with a micro flaky, so that's pretty exciting. And then we have a shimmer, but the majority we have great OPI cream formulation. So always in my OPI videos, I do comparisons for the polishes in the new collection compared to polishes in their previous collections because OPI has such a huge catalog of colors by now being in the business so long that often I get the question, is this similar to something that I already have? So I pull from what I already have. Now I don't have all of OPI's catalog, but I pull from what I have and show you the comparison of the things that I think that are the most similar that you might be curious about. Those will always follow directly after my swatch photo. So I'm going to give you at least two coats of everything today so you can see how they swatch on my natural nail so you can get an idea of what the experience would be like for you. Then I'll show you my swatch photo and a comparison if I have comparisons for you, which I do for all of these polishes except for the one that has the micro flakies, which I think is probably the most exciting polish out of the collection because OPI is doing something with micro flakies. That's really, really fun. It's not their first time, but this for me is like the first Crelly gold micro flaky combo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it. All the important links and everything you need to know will be down in the description bar below. On my lips today, I have this Too Faced lip gloss. It is this cute little gingerbread uh, icing component and I got this in my stocking from Santa. Thank you, Santa. This is Too Faced Spice Cake. High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. So that's on my lips. Let's go ahead and start swatching. Okay, so we're gonna have six creams in a row before we get to that flaky crelly combo. So let's get started. So first up we have this peachy coral. It's kind of like an apricot shade. It's called Coraline Your Spirit Animal, but it's like the word coral and then ing your spirit animal. All of these creams you guys are going to have the fantastic OPI cream formula. I was very pleased with this collection as far as application. They are spot on. They are so easy to apply. Beautiful bright pigmented colors and very glossy. Now, as far as whether you think the colors are original enough to warrant your purchase, that's up to you. But I was really pleased with my experience swatching and wearing all of these shades. So this first one is the apricot color, and I do have things to compare for you for this one. And again, this one's called Corralling Your Spirit Animal. Next up, we have the bright sunny yellow out of the collection. I was so pleased to see this polish in here. I do have OPI yellows. They have a pretty good range of them by now, and I have a few that are similar enough to this to show you comparison. But they do also play around with different colorations of yellow, which I'm always happy about that because I am personally am a yellow lover. This polish is called Don't Tell a Soul, and the word soul is like the word for sun in Spanish. And I'm so happy to report this has a beautiful two coat formula. I didn't have streakiness issues at two coats that made me have to go for a third. This self levels nice and easily at just two coats. And so I was really pleased to have another great formulated yellow polish from OPI. So if you don't have anything too similar to this, I think this one's a really great standard yellow formulation that you're gonna be pleased to work with. Okay, next up we have the basically white polish in the collection. If you hold it right next to an actual true, true white, this leans a tiny bit purple, just a tad, like the tiniest pinch ever. And this one's called Hue is the Artist. I'm gonna compare it for you with a bunch of other white or almost white OPI shades. There are a lot actually. OPI has a lot of colors that are very similar to this. Um, but I didn't have an exact, exact dupe for this one. Um, also, I do need three coats to get this totally opaque on my nails. You may have a less strong visible nail line than me and maybe you only need two. This is Hue is the artist and I know that there are a lot of you who love 
a really bright, almost white color. And if you put a pinch of blue in a white, it makes it look even brighter. Granted, this is leaning slightly purple, but still, it does give it a nice effect. So I did enjoy this polish, but for me, it does need that extra coat. Next up, we have this dark royal purple shade, and this one's called Mariachi Makes My Day, which is super, super cute. And this is just a really great pigmented medium to dark purple cream. It gets nice and opaque at two coats. You don't really have to fiddle around with it. It's giving you a gorgeous saturated look on your nails, really, really beautiful. Um, I do have lots of things to compare as far as OPI's purples, which they have a lot, a lot of purples to compare to. This one's definitely more blue toned. It's not leaning toward all the plummy purples that they have. And so for me, since I did have quite a few that were similar, I feel like this polish out of the whole collection is one that they've definitely done a lot of, and I would have liked to see a different color purple. Um, but I do love purple. <laughs> Next up, we have one of two like turquoisey tealy colors. This one they're calling a mint shade. The name of it is Mexico City Move Mint. And this one, even though it's very light, I was able to get it opaque at just two coats for my photo. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. It does have the same cream formula, the beautiful cream formula that the rest of these creams have. Very easy to work with. And it gives a very striking, pulled together classic look on the nail. So my experience with using all of these is very, very good, but they did really pick some colors in this collection that we've seen rather recently. So as far as color selection is concerned, if you are an avid collector like myself, a lot of these colors are going to seem recently done. If you're not an avid collector, then I think that you're gonna be really pleased with the color selection here because it gives you a lot to work with. Next up, we have this really beautiful primary blue. It's kind of a deep end of a primary blue, and this one is called Mikasa S. Blue Casa, which is my favorite name out of the collection. I think it's super, super cute. I do have three things that are similar enough to this color from OPI to compare for you. So I kind of wish that they'd chosen a little bit different color than this kind of Prussian blue that they've done a few times. Um, but if you don't have this color already from OPI, it is a gorgeous two coat formula. It's really, really nice. Um, just keep in mind, if you're feeling frustrated that OPI does a lot of the same colors over and over, just keep in mind how long they've been in business and how many years they've been making cream formulation. So if they set out to make a cream, chances are they're probably going to make something pretty similar to what they've already done. And if their business model doesn't entice them to want to play with different components that maybe an indie brand would play with, that doesn't give them very many options when it comes to what their polish is going to look like. So before you get too upset, just keep in mind how many colors they've already done. So the chances for them to repeat a color is pretty high. Okay, this is the one polish in the collection that I don't have anything to compare for it. Like I said, it is this kind of orangey coral crelly. This is on the sheer side. You could also easily wear this over one of the two orangey reds in the collection. You could wear this over the yellow, the apricot. You could wear it over the pink. I mean, you could wear this as a topper over lots of things or you could just wear it on its own. So it has this really delightful soft gold flake that looks pretty identical to the soft gold flake that I use in my polishes actually. So that's kind of fun. This one's called Mural Mural on the Wall and I like this probably the best out of the whole collection because for me this is the most original polish original to OPI that they have released in this collection. And I would love to see them go more in this direction because what that is going to yield is less polishes that look super similar to other polishes they've created in the past. So I would like to see them grow in this direction. I'm gonna swatch this at three coats. It doesn't get rid of my visible nail line entirely at three coats, so just keep that in mind. I think it is a little bit on the sheer side, but that's what you get when you have a Crelly. Because if they had made this too opaque, it would have looked disastrous because the flakies would have been a clumpy mess all over the nail because the cream formula would have been fighting with the flaky. So you don't want that. So better to err on the side of sheer rather than too opaque with a flaky. So this is probably my top pick out of the collection if you're looking for something new from OPI. Okay, next up we have the first of two orangey red creams. This first one has a lot more white in it. It is brighter. It is more towards a corally orange red than the other one, which is more like a straight up spicy red orange. This one is called My Chihuahua Doesn't Bite Anymore, which is like a play on a previous polish that they named about a chihuahua. And this is just gorgeous. I mean, easy peasy, one to two coat formulation, super, super pretty. I think that this polish 
really rides the line right in between orange and red. Gorgeous, just as the other one does. And of course it applies so, so easily. So this one is my Chihuahua doesn't bite anymore. Next up we have the second yellow tone polish in the collection which feels very fitting for sunny beautiful Mexico City. And little fact about me, Mexico City, well we toured Mexico when I was eight years old but Mexico City is one of the only places that I've been outside of the States because Mexico is the only place that I've been outside of the States but specifically Mexico City so out of all their international locations that they inspire their collections by I've actually been to this one. Yay! Okay so this next polish is a gold. It's a very kind of white gold, light gold look on the nail and it is a metallic shade and it has little tiny sparkling flecks of some kind of gold micro flaky but it's so so small it's more it more just looks like a like a shimmer. It looks like a fleck but it's very very small. So that adds a tiny bit of dimension to this polish. I do have some very similar things to this um, so not a totally unique look for them. It's a tiny bit more saturated in coloration than the other thing that's very similar to this. Anyway, you'll see those comparisons here. But this one's called Susie's Slinging Mezcal and they always have a polish that has Susie's name in it because she's the creator of OPI. Um, I'm going to do this in two coats. It's a really beautiful bright light but slightly washed out kind of looking gold metallic. Okay, next up we have the shimmering polish out of the collection and this is a pink and it has this beautiful pink shimmer in it. You can definitely see it on the bottle and I hypothesized in my Instagram stories that you were definitely going to be able to see the shimmer on the nail. My hypothesis was incorrect. <laughs> you can't really see it on the nail. Okay, you can in my macro shot you can definitely see it, but it more just provides this like slightly glowy feel to the nail, but when you look at the nail it's not like, oh this is a shimmer. So it's kind of like that, it just provides a kind of glow. This is also a Crelly formula, so it's gonna give you a squishy look on the nail. And that also makes it so this is on the sheer side. I couldn't get rid of my nail line at the three coats, but that's all I'm gonna do. I don't really ever do more than three coats with anything because I know that that's just creating way too much dry time for you. So if you really don't like how you can kind of see through to my nail still at three coats, you could certainly wear this as a topper. Okay, next up we have this kind of dusty turquoise cream shade, which again is something that they have done quite a bit of this shade. Out of all the shades in the rainbow, I feel like they are definitely drawn to specific colors. This one's called Verde Nice to Meet You, and it has a gorgeous two coat formula. This is so beautiful on the nail, applies super, super easily if you don't already have one of the shades that I'm going to show you in comparison to this, I think this is a really, really beautiful color. So this is one that I would be just like making a beeline for in this collection if I didn't already own a few things like this from OPI. So if you don't, I think you're going to love this one. So this is two coats of Verde Nice to Meet You. Okay, we just have one polish left and this is the Spicy Red Orange. This one's called Viva OPI with an exclamation point on the front end and the back like you would type out in the Spanish language when you want to put an exclamation point after something, which I love. And this, of course, just has an impeccable, gorgeous formulation. You could even just do this in one coat if you were looking for a spicy, uh, very warm toned red leaning towards an orange then this one is the one for you. I do again of course have lots of things to compare for you with this polish because OPI is known for the reds and has a kajillion of them but um, I do think it's very pretty so especially if you like the name I think this would be really fun. So that's the last polish out of the collection, the Mexico City Spring Summer 2020 collection. And I would love to know what you think in the comments. Please let me know down below what your favorites are. If you'd like to get any of these, a lot of you have told me that you've already purchased them from polishpick.com. So definitely head over there for some great savings if you would like to get any of these. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so, especially if you like formats like this where you're getting to see a live application swatch and some comparisons to help inform your purchasing when you're looking for your next nail polish shade and make sure you hit the bell notification. I'm so glad you stopped by for this video. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I will see you back for the next one very soon. Take care until then. Bye!